Okay. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm here with another video. If you guys don't know what that video is, that, that means you haven't looked at the title. And it's about bacon ranch meatloaf. That's what we're making today. So anyways, I wanted, I have a few things I wanted to tell you guys first about the video before you guys see it and if you're if you have questions i hope i answered those before the video you know you black when you do this when you have like when you measure your like your measure like your um season and stuff like that you know how like on tv they be like measuring with like tablespoons and you know measuring cups and all that and when you at home nobody got time to be measuring with tablespoons and teaspoons and stuff like that you just measure your hand let it go right so, I know I'm black because I measured in my hand <laughs> and I showed y'all. So, I appreciate sure y'all. Y'all gonna be like, um, Saber, how much did you use? Because you put that in your hand and my hand's like 10 times the size of yours and I don't even know how much you use. So, in the voiceover, I will let you know exactly <laughs> how much to use. But, yeah, I just measure with my hand. You know you do that at home, right? Ain't nobody got time for measuring cups and measuring spoons. Like, who does that nowadays? Unless you work in a All restaurant. Right, so but I work video. at home, so... Um, me blabbering yeah. on. I'm just going to okay. show you guys quickly what you'll need for this. You're going to need about a pound and a half of ground chuck. 80-20 is what I used. Um, you're going to need a uh, half of onion diced, two eggs about seven pieces of bacon depending on how much meat you, you use i have ranch dressing seasoning salt pepper in the back there's chipotle peppers and adobo sauce that i bought in that blue bowl there's ketchup mustard and brown sugar and the green bowl has the bread um, chopped bread that i actually used that i had left over hanging around so right here i'm just quickly showing you step you know one by one what you'll need the diced onion right there um the mixed sauce this is what you're going to need now you're going to need more than that i use like half of what i show on video you're going to need more sauce than that and then this is the adobe pepper which gives it that kick that ranch dressing you're going to need about like a packet i'll just buy a packet of it if you don't want to buy like the whole um whole jar of it the salt and pepper and then the bread and then over there all the way to the right is the milk i use about more than that i actually use about a cup and a half of milk and then your bacon strips and that's all all right so over here i'm just showing you the bread mixture uh, if you don't have this type of bread which you don't have to go get i just had this left over which is jalapeno cheese bread yum 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 you can use all white bread i mean like that wonder bread i'm not talking about whole wheat whole grain i'm talking about wonder white bread I put in the milk, but it wasn't enough for the actual bread to absorb. The bread was still dry, so I went back to my fridge, took some milk out, added some more milk to it, um, which is about a cup and a half. If you don't have bread, then you can use oatmeal or you can use bread crumbs. Um, this also works too. Uh, that was about like four slices of bread that I had left over and actually I didn't use all of that So I'll say at the very end you'll probably only need like two to three pieces of bread if that's what you use And I just poured the, uh, the milk directly in there I'm letting all that milk soak up in that bread I want to get soggy as much as possible because that's what's gonna moisten the meat loaf and like I said, you don't have to use this if you don't want to, but I had this left over and I thought it'd give it an extra kick as well. So that's the reason why I used it because, I mean, jalapeno cheese bread and meatloaf, that sounds so good, right? Yes. All right. So right here is the mixer, uh, the, the mixture, the sauce that I used. The ketchup, the mustard, and the brown sugar. Now, this is not all that I use. I don't show that in this video. And of course, the Chipotle peppers for a kick. Boom. Um, so I, I will say you'll need about double the, double the size, or double the portions that I use. In here, I use about, I want to say three tablespoons of ketchup, two table, a tablespoon and a half of mustard, and about uh, one tablespoon of uh, brown sugar. I'm going to say you're going to need a cup of ketchup. Um, did I say ketchup again? Yeah, a cup of ketchup. You're going to need about two tablespoons of mustard and about 
two tablespoons of brown sugar. And then your chipotle peppers, you can add a more or less, depending on your heat level. I, I could have actually added more, and I did, actually, because it wasn't that hot. Um, and I love heat anyway. So you don't have to add this if you don't want to. I like it because it gives your meatloaf an extra kick. You can add a little dash of hot sauce if you like or nothing at all. So I'm just chopping it up so it's fine little pieces. I'm going to put that all in my mixture and then mix that all together. That's the sauce that I'm going to add in my meatloaf, on top of my meatloaf, and as a, fin a finishing sauce after my meatloaf is done cooking. Am I going too fast? Because I feel like I am. So you got to wash your hands, you wash your counter. You don't want to cross-contaminate. That's what I'm doing here. And then I'm just going to take my spoon and just mix it up all together with my fork. Uh, mix it up all together. Sorry for that scratch noise. Make my teeth burn. So that's what the finished product is after everything is mixed up and mixed together. Over here now this is what you're gonna need for the meat mixture your meat I got it in my bowl dice onions slap the babies in there and like I said I use about a pound and a half of 80 to 80 20 ground chuck two eggs mixed in there as well and then next I'm gonna take my bread crumb mix and put that in my bread crumb my bread milk mixture and put that in there I didn't use all of it actually. I only used about a cup and a half of um, my bread milk mixture. If you're using oatmeal or if you're using bread crops, I'd say about a cup of that will do just fine in your meatloaf. And then I'm just adding my seasonings. Now this is the funny part, y'all. I put this mug in my hand like y'all really would know how much I'm using. Don't don't mind me. Anyways, uh, you need about I want to say you're going to need more than what I put in my hand. And it may seem like a lot, but it's not. I'm telling you guys, it's not. What you're going to need is about, I want to say about, if you use, if you just buy the packet of ranch, you can use that whole packet of ranch in your meatloaf. And then you're going to need about two tablespoons of salt and one tablespoon of pepper. If you're just buying the, the individual packets. If you have the whole container like I do, I say at least about three tablespoons of this um, seasoning that's just equivalent to the actual package and then like I said two tablespoons of salt and one tablespoon of pepper I'm adding about two spoonfuls of this mixture in that bad boy I just want to go get my, uh, my spoon real quick and I'm going to incorporate that all in there that's what's also going to give your meatloaf extra kick you know what I mean And we're about to use our hands. You don't have to use your hands if you don't want to get dirty. You can use a spoon, but I like to cook with my hands. I mean, you get a better feel for it. You know how much you use if you need more. And my hands are clean, so hey. And I'm at home. So you don't want to get dirty, you don't have to, I guess. But hands are your best tools to use. So I'm getting that all well incorporated, making sure everything is incorporated in that meat from the beginning to end. There's no dry spot. I don't want to over, you know, you don't want to overwork your meatloaf, so I'm just mixing it in. And then next, we're going to put this on a broiler. Yes. If you don't have a broiler, you can use a deep, you know, a deep dish pan. I like a broiler because it saves me time on all of that fat that's getting ready to drain out of that meat. It drains from the bottom, and I don't have to remove my meat and then take my, my pan that's hot and pour out the you know the fat and then put my meatloaf back into my pan. That this just saves extra time. I'm patting it up to a little nice loop over here. And next we're about to add the bacon. I use seven pieces of bacon. Um, depending on how big or how small your meatloaf is depends on how much strips of bacon you're going to need. So for me, it was seven pieces and pretty much like the whole package of bacon I pretty much used. And I'm just overlaying them on top of each other so there is no peekaboo spots. 
And then after I do that, I'm going to just tuck the bad boy nice and neat. Tuck, tuck, tuck. Night, 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 meat low. What you going to do at the very end? Make sure all those bad boys are tucked in so your meat loaf looks all nice and pretty. And voila. That's the end result. Then you're going to take the sauce, the finishing sauce, and slather that bad boy on there. Um, like I said, I added more sauce to it at the end, but that wasn't all the that was not all of the sauce that I used. I actually went back and made some more sauce so I didn't make enough to add at the very end when my meatloaf was done. And there you go. Just slather that bad boy on there from the very bottom to the very top. Make sure everything is well coated. You can see the little chunks of chipotle peppers in there, which I love. So that is what you, that's all you need. And I'm doing my little dance, doing my little dance, doing my little dance. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> all right. So next right here, I'm just showing you. I put a pot, I uh, put a deep dish pan at the very bottom with water in there. That's just for adding moisture in my oven. You can do this when you don't have to, but I like to do this actually. It makes a difference. And I put my oven on 400 degrees. I only cook that bad boy for 45 minutes. 45 minutes is all you will need. You could be any longer. You're going to have some dry, almost cussed. You're going to have some dry meatloaf. So 45 minutes at the most. And voila. There you go, you guys. You had your finishing touches. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys love this video. Yes, it was long. Please comment and let me know if you tried it and tweaked it. And I will see you on the next video. Good eat. Wow.